Hey Flowernets, how are you all doing? Today's video is going to be all about my TikTok compilations. So, let's go! So, I've been asked to do some characters from Disney and DreamWorks and many other characters too, even from DC Comics and Marvel. And I thought, you know what, why don't we do a TikTok of this? And I tried my first time and I got great responses, so I kept on doing it. And I'm going to show you all of my responses, which were my favourite, which I'm going to improve and what I'm going to be doing next. Check it out. The markers that I have are great for graphics and cartoon making. You should try them, they're called Oli Marker Pens. They're available on Amazon and many other great stores too. So many of you know I've got some new marker pens and I just love having so much fun with them. I basically just lose myself with them and they go great with graphics and cartoons. I think as I've been going through my cartoons my confidence has got better along with my artist skills. I also did the Ultimate Warrior as well from WWE Wrestling, that was also a really hard challenge but I managed to succeed but I didn't use my markers, I used watercolour and a very concentrated and limited palette allowing me to have a little bit more freedom and not to worry about other colours um, contradicting each other. I've also at this point decided that I'm going to do some more Disney cartoons. So. On this one, I decided to reuse some of my paper. I was sick of going through card and not being able to enjoy it as much as I should, especially when my markers bleed through the, the paper. So I decided to just reuse it and the results are outstanding. Check it out. As I go on doing these TikToks, I keep getting more and more requests, which is super exciting. I get lots of fans and just so much credit and it is so overwhelming. I love doing Disney in particular. My favourite is also Tinkerbell. I felt so confident doing that and it shows in the results. I took my time, I kept referring to my picture, I took my time with the colours, allowing them to blend and bleed into each other, showing a really beautiful result. I hope you like it just as much as I do. Who says I can't use continuous line? Noah. Poor unfortunate.
So I'd like to talk a little bit about my process. My general TikToks start off with how um, I've drawn it in pencil. So it always starts off with an outline and how I work into it bit by bit. I usually work in the outline with black pen unless the picture shows me otherwise. And then I work into the color step by step. And then I always clean it up a little bit with a filter because the last thing you want is a scribbly picture. And that's how I do my TikToks. I really, really also enjoy using the markers because they are designed for graphics. But on the odd occasion, I've used oil pastel and acrylic paint. So far. So I think my favourite overall was doing Shazam, that's been my most recent TikTok and I was asked to do it by my dad and I think as I built my confidence over with the markers and like, I'm getting more familiar with human sculpture and uh, human posture, I have definitely got more confident, I, I just loved using my colour palette. I loved using my my markers. I love using my coordination and the the ratios of the human body, and I really really enjoyed it. Plus, it put a massive smile on my dad's face. And I think the one I can improve on was Ursula. In my TikTok, I even mentioned I used quite harsh paper and not so good marker pens. So I think Ursula is going to be a definite improvement for me. There's always room for practice, and like I just said. Which was your favourite? So Flower Nerds, which was your favourite? What should I draw next? Who knows? I'm still available on TikTok and I will take any request. No challenge is too big, no request is too big. And you can find me on TikTok at charlottebauer00. So Flower Nerds, see you soon. Don't forget, Lottie loves your baby and stay safe.